What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode out here grinding, getting some practice in. Today I wanna to talk to you about a technique I use that I, you know comes from my music days that really helps me overcome any weakness. For those of you that don't know, I'm a music producer and a mix engineer. I have over a billion streams to my credits and have been, you know, music has been my life and what I have trained to be great at for the last 10 years. And so in music, you know, there's a couple terms and a couple things we use when we want to get really good at something that actually have a lot of parallels really to any skill you want to apply in life. But I'm using that training and that knowledge to kind of help accelerate my learning curve here on the golf course. Now, one of the terms is called woodshedding. Now, when you're in a band or you're in an orchestra or you're really any musician in general, when you have to learn your part or you're struggling with a certain aspect of your instrument and you need to master that part of your instrument and, and to execute it at a high level. All of us musicians do this thing called woodshedding, which is essentially like, you know, we would go to a secluded place and just practice that phrase over and over and over to the point where it became part of us, to the point where we couldn't get it wrong. It wasn't about getting it right. It was that we could never get it wrong. And if you talk to any musician, then you know, woodshedding can sometimes give us the chills because there have been times when we have had to conquer some absolute demons in that woodshedding process when it comes to certain skills and certain musical phrases. Now, where this relates to golf is, you know, there are many aspects of our golf game that are uncomfortable, that we need to become comfortable with in order to execute and do our job. The only way to truly conquer something is to just own it, repeat it, and do it over and over again to the point where you cannot fail at it. And it becomes so part of what you do, it almost becomes laughable to screw it up. Now, as I'd mentioned in some previous videos last week, you know, my wedges have been giving me some issues. And so it was time to hit the woodshed and absolutely grind on these wedges to just hone that in. And so for the past week, I have basically been here for hours every single day woodshedding on my wedges. I have hit thousands of wedge shots this week. I don't know what the full tally is, but the balls I'm using are practically bald at this point from just the amount of wear and tear my my wedges themselves guys these were new and look at the wear marks on the wedges like i have been putting this to work but the whole point is if you take some of these wood shedding techniques right into your practice sessions if you practice something to a point of not success but to the point of where you can't fail at it i have found that to be super impactful when it comes to the golf course right how many times do you go to the range and you hit a bunch of shots and you kind of once you feel like you've got it you move on but actually that's the point where you need to keep going and you need to keep hitting that shot over and over and over to the point where that becomes the norm and the miss becomes the outlier. Because confidence doesn't appear miraculously. Confidence is earned. And if you look at any of the you know, greatest athletes that we, that we love to watch, you, know, you look at Michael Jordan, you look at LeBron, you look at Kobe, you look at Tom Brady, these guys, they practice to a point where they can execute with such arrogance that they know they're not gonna fail. And, and that comes from employing these kind of wood shedding practices of just over and over, making sure that your skills are dialed. Now for amateurs, you know, you don't have to go that insane, but if you, if you lack confidence on the golf course, if you lack confidence in an area of your game, the only way to get it is to earn it through practice. There's, that's the only way. Confidence is earned. Confidence is not discovered anywhere else. And the way to earn confidence is out here putting the reps in over and over. And putting those reps in to the point where you surpass that frustration period where you literally want to throw your club. And trust me, over the past week, I have wanted to absolutely throw my 60 degree wedge. Hey, there's a pond over there, okay? I could probably chuck it into that pond if I was really motivated. And trust me, there were a couple times this week where I was for sure hella motivated to do that but the whole point is persevering through those moments and just repeating the skill to a point where failure is the outlier and at that point that is when you can play to your heart's desire and have that confidence so that's what we're working towards that's what we're doing and i hope this helps you because this is the strategy i'm using to help accelerate my learning curve and get to a plus six and turn pro this year. Thank you so much for watching. Drop me a comment on a weak part of your game that you need to fix and how you're going to woodshed that part of your game into a success. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you on the next one.